Hello and welcome back to Film Strips. Today, I'm going to delve into the American action comedy, Barely Lethal. Be aware of spoilers, so proceed with caution. Prescott Academy operates under the radar as a government-backed facility that molds young girls into lethal assassins. Under the leadership of Hardman, the Academy recruits these girls, some as young as 10 months, and immerses them in an intense training regimen, isolating them from any external cultural influences. These girls at Prescott Academy are honed to be efficient killers. By the age of three, they are trained to handle firearms larger than themselves. At five, they start learning to drive, quickly advancing to execute high-speed chases within a year. Their daily routine encompasses various combat techniques, ensuring that by their teenage years, they are prepared for high-risk operations, their youthful appearance aiding in avoiding detection. Hardman's primary directive is the adherence to the principle of no attachments, leading to a life where these orphaned girls are prevented from forming any personal bonds, identified only by their numerical designations. The standout pupil of the Academy is Agent 83, who excels in marksmanship and combat, surpassing her peers. However, she finds the rule of no attachments puzzling and struggles with its implications. During an exercise where the girls are instructed to jab a stuffed animal with a pen, 83 refrains opting instead to clutch the toy close to her. Hardman uses this moment to highlight her as a negative example and proceeds to rip off the toy's head. A storm of emotions brews within 83, threatening to erupt at any moment. Over time, she matures into a teenager with superior combat abilities. Her main rival, Agent 84, consistently ranks just behind her in skills and harbors a deep resentment towards 83 to the extent of contemplating her demise, though their shared allegiance to the agency prevents this. 83 stands out as the first among her peers to be deployed on perilous assignments. This decision irks 84, who, despite her displeasure, lacks the power to challenge it. On her assignments, 83's youth helps her to avoid suspicion, allowing her to complete her tasks effortlessly and win Hardman's admiration. Yet, she yearns for the ordinary teenage experiences she's been denied. While on a mission, the sight of a neighboring party with teenagers engaging in dance and enjoyment starkly contrasts with her own life, prompting a realization of her abnormal existence. Yearning to reclaim the lost segments of her youth, 83 resolves to escape from the organization and explore normal teenage life at her earliest opportunity, intent on discovering what it means to be a regular girl. To assimilate into typical teenage life, she begins researching by watching films like Mean Girls, The Princess Diaries, and Clueless. During missions, she acquires magazines, sneaking reads, and during dull briefings. Her secret indulgence leads to a problematic incident when Hardman catches her reading a magazine during a critical mission briefing. He sternly reminds her to focus, highlighting the gravity of her next assignment, capturing Victoria, a notorious arms dealer and mafia figure spotted in a city eight hours prior. Victoria must be apprehended alive within two days to prevent her from vanishing again. Although Agent 84 is eager for the mission, hoping to gain Hardman's favor, Agent 83 is selected for the task. In the ensuing sequence, Victoria is shown in a construction site holding three hostages, whom she mocks and unblindfolds. Unexpectedly, one female hostage reveals herself as Agent 83, who swiftly subdues Knox and her henchmen. She secures a hook onto Knox, connecting it to a passing airplane, facilitating their aerial extraction. However, while airborne, Knox aims her gun at 83, who then severs the harness and plunges into the river below, leaving Knox to be hauled into the plane. Hardman, noting 83's disappearance, attempts to reach her through a wrist-mounted device. Emerging from the water, 83 hears his calls but chooses not to respond. Seizing her moment to break free, she discards her watch, resolving to leave her past behind permanently. Meanwhile, on the plane, Hardman is informed of the loss of visual and audio contact with her. He then marks her as inactive and shifts his focus to interrogating Victoria. Assuming the new identity of Megan, she enrolls in a high school in Newton, securing a homestay through a website. At the airport, she is greeted by the Larson family, including Mrs. Larson, her son Parker, and her cynical teenage daughter Liz, who shows evident displeasure towards Megan's presence. Liz is particularly baffled by Megan's enthusiasm for mundane experiences like taking the school bus. Despite her initial reluctance, Liz, wanting to appease her mother, reluctantly agrees to guide Megan through school life. On her first day, Megan's unconventional attire attracts unwanted attention, leading to an embarrassing moment when a bully, Gooch, mockingly labels her as fresh meat, provoking laughter from the others. 
Liz steps in, offering Megan clothing with subtler patterns to blend in better. At the morning assembly, Megan is spotlighted as a foreign exchange student and meets Roger, a tech-savvy student whom she hastily categorizes as a nerd based on her movie-derived perceptions. Her introduction to the school community falters as she faces mockery and is taunted to return to Canada, the fabricated homeland of her new persona. Embracing Megan's perspective when the school chants intensify, Cash, the school's band leader and most admired student, steals the spotlight with a musical performance, instantly captivating Megan. During lunch, despite an invitation from the cheerleaders, Megan declines, wary of their intentions based on her cinematic insights, suspecting them to be unkind as portrayed in her watched films. In biology class, she encounters Roger again and they become friends. Although Roger shows interest in her, Megan's attention remains fixed on Cash. The following day, she's paired with Cash for a lab assignment, but faces envy from other girls who express a preference for him, leading to a suggestion that Megan step aside. Amidst the collective infatuation for Cash, the girls mislead Megan into believing he prefers girls who embody the school mascot, convincing her he's into furries. Unaware of their deceit, Megan auditions for the mascot role, securing it immediately and is scheduled for game day practice. During a practice session, she's ambushed by masked individuals, whom she initially suspects are operatives sent by Hardman. Utilizing her combat skills, Megan subdues them, only to discover they are students from a competing college instigating mischief. Her actions, mistaken for a hostile encounter, are recorded and swiftly circulate on social media, adding to her dismay. At Prescott, Victoria is under interrogation by Hardman and critiques his method of depriving young girls of their childhood, which he defends as a noble cause. Victoria shows a particular interest in Agent 84, seeing her as a potential ally for an escape plan. Meanwhile, the viral video of Megan's combat prowess leads them to suspect her affiliation with an adversary. Back at school, Megan's display of fighting skills boosts her popularity, making her an overnight sensation. Her day improves further when Cash invites her to his band's practice. There, she interacts with Roger, who appreciates her personality and finds common ground, although Megan remains preoccupied with Cash. Her social status escalates as she is invited to a party hosted by Gooch, her bully. Megan, thrilled by the prospect, looks forward to experiencing a party she's only known through movies. However, her day takes a drastic turn when she's abducted by Prescott's operatives. Hardman, convinced of her betrayal, dismisses her pleas for a normal life, administering a truth serum to validate her claims. Upon realizing her sincerity, his sense of ownership over her prevails due to the skills he imparted. He commands her to return to the base within two days, subsequently arranging for her to be left at the Larson's doorstep, staged to appear as if she had been out drinking. During her next encounter with Roger, Megan invites him to Gucci's party, but he declines due to his father's strict stance on attending parties. Megan wishes he could attend, as he is her sole friend at school. That evening, Megan arrives at the party with Liz, who was compelled by her mother to join. To Megan's astonishment, she finds 84, now identifying as Heather, at the party. Megan suspects that Hardman dispatched Heather to monitor her, though Heather neither confirms nor denies this. Unexpectedly, Roger shows up at the party, seeking Megan, but feels let down upon witnessing her intimate moment with Cash. As the party concludes, Cash proposes Megan be his date for the homecoming dance. The following day, Megan is shocked to find Hardman masquerading as the school bus driver, informing her of Victoria's escape from Prescott and her vengeful intentions towards Megan. Hardman extends an invitation for her return to Prescott, which Megan declines. Subsequently, while Megan and Liz are en route to school, they are chased by a masked assassin. Amidst the pursuit, Megan divulges her past to Liz. Their chase ends in a junkyard collision, with the assailant's identity concealed, yet Megan deduces its Heather by her perfume scent. After the incident, Liz is hospitalized. Megan contemplates leaving to prevent further harm to those around her, but Liz argues that Megan abandoning the family would be more detrimental. From that point, their relationship improves significantly, with Megan sharing the details of her life as an agent with Liz. Megan and Liz bond over shopping for homecoming attire and assist each other in preparing for the event. Liz accompanies Gooch, who appears to have softened since their interaction at the party, leaving Liz puzzled by his transformation. Conversely, Megan attends with Cash, but quickly realizes the evening isn't as she envisioned, as Cash is disengaged and fixated on his popularity, leading her to break off their association. Seeking companionship, Megan approaches Roger for a dance, only to be taken aback when he refuses, opting to stay with Heather, his date. 
This sparks a contentious dispute between Megan and Heather, escalating to a physical altercation that wreaks havoc across the venue, culminating in the kitchen where Heather attempts to assault Megan. In a twist, Liz intervenes, using a corn dog stick to incapacitate Heather, allowing Megan to subdue her with a blunt strike. The chaos leads them back home, where they discover Victoria and her accomplices holding Mrs. Larson and Parker captive. Megan skillfully confronts the assailants until they seize Liz, forcing her to surrender to protect her newfound family, clinging to the slim hope of Hardman's intervention. Victoria mocks Megan's naivety and unveils her identity as the inaugural Prescott trainee, number one, highlighting the depth of her involvement and the personal stakes in their confrontation. Victoria, sharing a similar past with Megan, having fled Prescott for stealing her youth, engages Megan in a duel, swiftly overpowering her. At this critical juncture, Hardman, accompanied by backup, arrives to rescue Megan and apprehend Victoria. The intervention team subdues Victoria using a tranquilizer gun, allowing Megan to express her gratitude to Hardman with an embrace. In the concluding scene, Megan intercepts Roger during his journey home, inviting him to join her on a helicopter flight, marking a new chapter in their adventures. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.